On this video, we're going to review CloudStick. It's a BPS manager that's on a lifetime deal right now. So if this is something that you need, you're going to save a ton of money. All right. So let's go review it right now. Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is George, and we're going to review CloudStick. Now, what is CloudStick? CloudStick is a BPS manager. That means that you have to additionally purchase a BPS from a hosting provider. But if you buy that BPS from a hosting provider, we're going to need a BPS manager. And what we want to do is avoid paying an additional monthly subscription. And for that reason, I want to show you CloudStick. Right now, it's a lifetime deal and it's really affordable for what you're going to get. Now, right off the bat, what I'm going to tell you is that CloudStick can do everything you need for your basic needs. So if you're going to launch a PHP site, a WordPress site, you're definitely good to go with this one. But when we go more into details, there are some things that are missing and I dislike about it, right? So first off, let's go check out the lifetime deal, which is $39 to get started. So $39 gets you access to plan one, which is one server. Server means BPS, right? So you buy the BPS from your hosting provider and you have options to add one single BPS on this plan. You get five gigabytes of free backup, which is always welcomed. You get unlimited limited websites. But yes, do consider that the unlimited websites is tied to your BPS. So if you have 100 gigabytes in your BPS, well, you have to fit the amount of websites that fit in that BPS. Plus, you also have to consider the resources from the BPS, right? So it sounds nice, but you have to consider the BPS needs, right? You got one click software installers, which is something that they really need to add more in order to kind of say that this is something really great. Uh, for example, one click installer will be Node.js, WordPress, PHP, etc., which are nice. They're the basic ones, even Jomla's there, but they should add more advanced one click installers, right? Uh, easy PHP, PHP extension installer. Now be aware that this is something I dislike about CloudStick is that their PHP version as of now, or as of this video, is 8.1, which is kind of outdated. Right now it's 8.3, so they really need to up that game there, right? And there's also Cache Manager, Cloud for Integration, Nginx. And one thing that I do really like about this uh, BPS Manager is that they have a email service, so professional emails. So in conjunction with Roundcube, which you can install here on CloudStick, gives you the ability to add your emails inside of this BPS manager, which is fantastic, all right? Okay, and if you need more sites, more BPS, et cetera, go into plan two and all, all the way up to three. If you have an agency or you have unlimited uh, clients, et cetera, and you need a lot of BPS, then use this plan, which is unlimited BPS, right? That you can install there. Okay, so this is CloudStick, and I already have my BPS installed here, which is one from Hostinger. You can use a BPS from other hosting providers, but in this case, I am using Hostinger because they're the sponsor for this video. So I am using a BPS on CloudStick. So if you plan to grab one, link we provided in the description, and I'm gonna show you how to apply an extra discount coupon code. So link in the description, go to hosting, BPS hosting, and you're gonna be able to find their hosting plans. Now, as I mentioned before, for example, on CloudStick, you get unlimited sites, but you have to consider the resources from the BPS that you grab. So in this case, I'm gonna grab this one, which is the KVM2. I'm gonna choose it because I'm gonna show you how to apply that coupon code. And the first thing that hosting is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 24 months. You lock in the lowest price, lowest or no price, and you're good to go for 24 months. Now, this is the current price for the 24 months, but if you add my coupon code, which is SAS Master altogether, the price is gonna drop to $150 with 98 cents. Remember, that's for 24 months, all right? Okay, back to CloudStick. As I mentioned before, mine is already connected, and if you need to connect the BPS, it's super easy. All you need is the IP address and the password for it, all right? Now, this is a BPS that I have installed here, and you get access to websites, databases, supervisors, and cron jobs. You also get a file manager and everything that goes along with the basic needs of a website. And this is why I think it's a good deal for starters, all right? So if I go to websites, I'm going to be able to view all the websites that I have installed here. And I've installed WordPress sites just for testing. But if you go to create a website, if you want to add another one, you have these options available. So these are your one click installers. You got the basic ones like the PHP, WordPress, Joomla and Node.js, which is the most popular ones. But I think they should really add more advanced one click installers. But if you're good to go with WordPress and PHP, which is what most users use. So you're good to go with this. If you select WordPress, you're going to be greeted with the options, for example, for setting up like your email, the web application, the domain name, Cloudflare. If you just connect it to it, connect the API to it. You don't have to strictly use it because you can still connect even though you're using the DNS from Cloudflare. And you got the PHP version, PHP version all the way up to 8.1. I think they should even remove 
7.4, 7.3, 7.2, unless you have something that you have to install that needs these old versions. But I think they should really upgrade for 8.2 and 8.3 because, well, those are the standards right now. I mean, those are the most recent ones available as of now, right? And then you have your web application stack. You got native Nginx, Nginx plus Apache. So you have those two options available here. And then your details for the actual WordPress site, which is pretty much straightforward. Boom, click install, and you have, you're going to have your WordPress site where you connect it to your domain. So remember, you're going to use your own domain. And this is coming soon. So you can use a free domain provided by them just for testing purposes, which is not available yet, but it will be since it's coming soon, all right? Now, let me go ahead and open up one of these sites that I have available here. Okay, so for example, let me go ahead and click on this one. And the things you're going to have available here are down here. So you have the option to have cash status enabled. So you have the cash option on this BPS manager. You have your general details. You can change the PHP version. You can do WordPress debugging, maintenance mode, search index, and enable auto updates for the plugins and the themes and all that, which I wouldn't recommend because it's always best to do it manually, all right? You got your users that you can create here. You can add users. You got your plugins. I think this is a really nice touch where you can enable, disable, and remove the plugins from here, which is always a great idea. Sometimes WordPress sites break because of a plugin. So if you can just disable it here, you can identify really easily what plugin it is without even having to go log in or jumping into the file manager, right? And then you have your cache settings in case you enable this. So if I enable cache, I can go ahead and check it out here where you can set your cache settings. You got your list websites, you got your Git option, you got your file manager for this particular website, which is always a great option. FTP accounts so you can create in case you want to connect something externally. Email accounts, accounts, as I mentioned before, you can connect this through Roundcube and you need to make the installation. You need to create the email authentication with the DNS provider that you're using. And you can use emails here. Is this, I like, I really like this feature because some BPS managers don't provide this and you have to pay for that additionally, all right? The domain names that you have connected, manage SSLs from here, app database, you got subdomains, settings, web servers, NGX config, because it's an NGX, but you got all the basic options available here to connect your BPS to launch websites. So it's a really great option to launch your websites from a BPS using CloudStick. The idea, as I mentioned before with CloudStick, is avoid paying another monthly subscription aside from the BPS from your hosting provider. So you're gonna save some money there, because you're not going to have to pay month to month for that service. So do consider CloudStick if you want something that's basic, but do consider those issues where they don't have the latest PHP version. They You can't install the latest Ubuntu version because right now it's 20.04, when the latest one I think right now is 22.04. So those are the drawbacks that I see as of now and the limits on the one-click installers, which I think they should add more advanced ones. But if you want to grab Cloud Stick, do check out that link in the description. And if you plan to grab a BPS plan, don't forget to use my coupon code. And that's a wrap.